Hey, it's Kerry. Some amazing dinosaurs and flying reptiles today and some new and unusual ones too. Give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs and flying reptiles. Can you tell me how many Therizinosaurus are in today's video? Just look for the big claws. There's a fun ending today when the dinosaurs get taken by surprise. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you. Microraptor. It was a very small dinosaur that lived in northeast China during the Cretaceous period. It's related to Velociraptor. It ate fish, small animals and reptiles. Microraptor was one of the smallest dinosaurs. It had four wings with flight feathers on both its arms and hands and on its legs and feet. It also had feathers on its body and a rather spectacular diamond shaped group of feathers on its tail. I appreciate the time that you spend to send me awesome comments and smileys. Thank you so much. Nanchiangosaurus is a genus of Therizinosaurian theropod dinosaur from the Cretaceous period. This, spe this species is brevis spinous, which translates to short thorn, referring to its short vertebral spines. It lived in Asia. Fossils have been found in China. It had a long neck, short tail and wide torso. It had enormous claws on its hand, which would have been used for pulling down branches and possibly defence. Cordypteryx was a feathered theropod dinosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous period. Its name means tail feather and it certainly has beautiful tail feathers. Cordypteryx had an interesting mix of reptile and bird-like features. It had a short square skull with a beak-like snout. Its teeth were long and sharp with deep bulbous roots. These teeth were only in the front of the upper jaw and pointed outward giving it a bug tooth look. Cordypteryx had feathers covering its very short arms, most of its body and on its short stiff tail. It didn't fly. Edmontosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a hadrosaurid or duck-billed dinosaur. Its back legs were longer than the front ones, allowing it to move about on two legs or four. It had short arms a long pointed tail, three toed hoofed feet and mission like hands. It had a toothless beak with teeth in their upper cheeks and main jaw bone which held replacement teeth. These teeth were especially strong for grinding plants. The skin was quite leathery and it lived in swampy areas. Therizinosaurus is a genus of very large theropod dinosaurs that lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means reaping lizard, referring to its long claws. Therizinosaurus had a small head with a beaked mouth and a long neck. It was bipedal and had a large, heavy, deep body with a wide pelvis, two and a half meter or eight foot long arms and legs that ended in four toes which had short curved claws. Anhangara was a carnivorous flying reptile that lived during the early Cretaceous period. It was a pterosaur, not a dinosaur, and mainly ate fish. Its skull was 1.6 feet long with rounded crests at the front of its sturdy upper and lower tapered jaws, which were filled with angled conical curved teeth giving it quite a bulbous looking snout. Anhangera had an estimated wingspan of 14 feet. Its feet pointed outwards so it would have had trouble walking on land. Spinosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period and lived in swampy areas covered in lush forests. Spinosaurus was a carnivore with huge teeth and powerful jaws. Recent fossil evidence shows Spinosaurus was the first dinosaur that was able to swim. 
it is thought to have survived mainly on fish, including giant coelacanths, sawfish, lungfish, and sharks, which lived in the dinosaur's river system. The Brachiosaurus skeleton. If you look carefully, you can see lots of detail. Up the top in the tiny skull is an eye socket and a large nasal opening on the forehead. Then you can see the neck or cervical vertebrae and there's the shoulder blade or scapula. Lots of ribs there and it has longer front legs and back. Notice the hip and the tail vertebrae as well. This was part of a life cycle of the Brachiosaurus set I had. There is Xenosaurus, quite great at 10 meters or 33 feet long and reached five tons in weight. It is only known from a few bones, including gigantic hand claws from which it gets its name. The most distinctive feature of the animal was the presence of the three gigantic claws on its front limbs. Each of the three digits of its hand bore these claws, which reached nearly a meter, which is approximately 3.3 feet in length. The largest claw was on the first digit. Its terrible claws were probably used to strip bark from trees or fend off predators and rivals. Brachiosaurus lived during the middle to late Jurassic period. It was one of the tallest and largest dinosaurs. It had a long neck, small head with its nostrils on top of its head and a short thick tail. Brachiosaurus lived on land most predators like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus were half its size. Their best defense was their size plus their clawed feet and tail. Brachiosaurus walked on four legs. Notice that the front legs were longer than its hind legs. The longer front legs and its very long neck made Brachiosaurus look rather giraffe-like, reaching heights of up to 40 to 50 feet tall. Each foot had five toes with a long sharp claw on the first toe of each front foot and claws on the first three toes of each rear foot. Tyrannosaurus was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. It was a ferocious predator with a thick heavy skull and four foot or 1.2 meter long jaws, which had a powerful bite force capable of bone crushing action. Fossil evidence shows that Tyrannosaurus was about 40 feet or 12 meters long and up to 20 feet or six meters tall. Its powerful thighs and long sturdy tail helped it to move quickly and its massive five foot long or one and a half meter long skull could tear into prey. Kalenkin. Kalenkin lived about 15 million years ago, so it's not when the dinosaurs were around, it's a long time after. It was a species of giant flightless predatory birds of the extinct family known as terror birds. Kalenkin was one of the largest carnivorous birds of all time, possibly reaching a height of 3 meters or 10 feet tall and weighing around 500 pounds, which is about 230 kilograms. It had the largest skull of any known bird. It is the largest species of Phoracid family. It is the largest species of the Phoracid, Phoracid family. Who cares? Spinosaurus. Its distinctive shape with its sail-like fin makes Spinosaurus easy to recognize. The spines can grow to five feet or one and a half meters long and may have helped regulate body temperature or attract mates. Some scientists think that the spines could have been part of a camel-like hump. I personally would like to think that the sail may have been brightly coloured, like the fins of some of the modern day reptiles. Spinosaurus was an advanced theropod whose intelligence was high amongst the dinosaurs. Tapajamara was a type of marine pterosaur. 
a flying reptile from the Cretaceous period. Tapajara was typical of later pterosaurs in that it had only a very short tail. The end of its jaw is directed downwards at the front like a bird's beak. It had a remarkable head crest up to a metre tall with a bony prong which extended back behind its head. It may have been used for display purposes to attract mates. Tyrannosaurus T. rex's serrated conical teeth were most likely used to pierce and grip flesh which it then ripped away using its brawny neck muscles. Its two-fingered forearms could probably seize prey but they were too short to reach its mouth. Fossils of T. rex prey including Triceratops and Edmontosaurus suggest T. rex crushed and broke bones as it ate and broken bones have been found in its dung. Draco Rex lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a pachycephalosaur or bone-headed dinosaur. Dracorex is thought to be a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. Its name means Dragon King. It was a medium-sized dinosaur and grew to about 13 feet with three toed feet. It was a herbivore that lived in the woodlands of North America. It is easily recognised by its long, thick, flat skull with spiked horns, bumps and a long muzzle. This model shows it had osteoderms. Shunasaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaur from the Middle Jurassic period and it lived in China. It grew to 9.5 metres or 31 feet long. Shunasaurus was very short necked for a sauropod. Its neck length indicates that Shunasaurus was a low browser. What makes it very special is that paleontologists have unearthed several complete skeletons of this dinosaur, making it one of the best understood of all the sauropods. Spinosaurus could lie submerged in the water and ambush its prey with its long sharp crocodilian jaws, dragging the prey down under the water to drown. Spinosaurus had numerous pressure sensors in its snout that helped it sense movement of prey in the water. A Spinosaurus would defend itself using its long sharp teeth and powerful jaws and clawed limbs. Tyrannosaurus T. rex had a wraparound overbite when it closed its mouth. The upper parts of the lower jaw's teeth fit inside the upper teeth. Tyrannosaurus rex probably lived in forests where its prey, which were plant which were plant-eating dinosaurs, could find plenty of food. It had a great sense of smell. The tail was used as a counterbalance for its enormous head and for agility and for making quick turns. Therizinosaurus was most probably a herbivore, using its big claws to push leaves into its mouth. Some people suggest that it may have used them to open up large termite nests, but for the size of the dinosaur and the shape of its mouth and the flattened teeth, it probably suggests it was more of a herbivore. There are several other functions that might have been served by the claws, such as defense against predators like Tarbosaurus and also fighting over territory or fighting over possible mates. It's highly likely that Therizinosaurus was feathered, given that its close relative, Bipiosaurus, certainly was. Such a beautiful coloured model. It's probably my favourite Therizinosaurus. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here and super fun reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Now remember to stay for the fun ending and remember to tell me how many Therizinosaurus you saw in today's video. Thank you.
subscribe, click on that colourful super fun reviews button or to watch any of the suggested videos please click on the one you like or there's plenty more to choose from. Thanks once again.